Okay, so in the last video, we added our first section. In this video, we're gonna add the rest of the section. So let's go ahead and first add section two, section three, and section four. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just gonna copy and paste this first div. Of course, we need to create the HTML placeholders. And we'll just call this section two and section two. Repeat the process, three and three and then four and four. Good, so this will create section two, section three, and section four. Okay, let's go ahead and flip over to the style sheet and let's go ahead and just copy and paste this for our section two. And let's go ahead and make this section two here for the class. Now, in terms of the grid and rows, we know that section two starts right at column line two. So we need to specify this right here. But row one will stay the same because it starts at row one right here. And again, if we don't put in a stop value, it will just end at row line two, which is what we want. And let's go ahead and switch this to dark green, just like we have it in the finished product. Good, that looks okay. I think that's gonna work just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and create our section three CSS code. And we'll change the class name. And you probably guessed it by now, we need column line three right here. And then by not putting in a stop value, it will end at column line four. So let's go ahead and specify three here. And similar to section two, this will start at grid row line one. And then let's go ahead and switch the color and we'll make this brown. We're just using the solid color names here. And then let's go ahead and create our section four. And so we need to go ahead and make this class four. And of course, now this is section four we're dealing with. So we're going to go ahead and start this at column line one. And as we know, if we don't put in a stop value, it will end at two. So that will be one. But what's gonna change here now is the row, right? We're starting now at row line two instead of row line one. So we have to specify row line two here. And of course, it will stop at row line three. So this will be a two. So one and two. And then let's go ahead and switch the color and make this red. Okay, so let's save everything up and let's go ahead and close out of this and let's launch this in the browser and take a look at that. It worked great. Now, your mission, should you choose to accept, is to fill out the rest of these sections. And don't worry, as usual, I will provide the finished code so you can refer to it if you get stuck. So go ahead now and try to put in section five, section six, section seven, section eight, and section nine. And if you get stuck, try to go ahead and refer to this diagram first before you actually look at my code. Try and refer to this if you can. But if you do get stuck, again, I will provide the code. Okay, I will see you in the next video.